there's a lot of guys that are coming back now. They have the traumatic brain injury, the post-traumatic stress disorder. We have anger issues. They need somewhere to uh, de-escalate. They need somewhere to get the mind right. The greatest resource that this country has is not its battleships, its bombs, and its airplanes. It's the ability to feed itself. There's eight times as many farmers over the age of 65 as under the age of 35. 100,000 new farmers per year for the next 10 years needed to fill the coming gap. Well, I saw a sign up there that said, Veteran Sustainable Agriculture Training. Our goal was to try to tap into the skills that the military people bring and translate it to agriculture, which we think is just naturally a good fit for these people. We joined the military because we were going to be tested. And that quest of finding out who I am has brought me from the military into farming. As a combat veteran, I was involved with a lot of destruction. Shifting from that to being a creator, seeing something thrive, it does something on a very deep uh, spiritual level, I think. I haven't felt this much peace since I've been back from the war. We are headed toward a time when we will have close to 9 billion people living on this earth. At the same time, we know that the resources for producing food are dwindling. This is going to be the defining issue of this century, is how we are going to figure out to feed ourselves. This is it. Teach these guys how to farm. They can feed themselves. They can feed the community. They can feed their family. They can have a sustainable life through sustainable agriculture.